Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's morning English. This is Colin. This is Winter. Hello, everyone. 欢迎大家收听今天的早安英文 Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。Okay, today we're going to talk about working hard. Working hard? Are you sure that everybody wants to work hard? <laughs> yeah, of course. I'm sure that everyone who is listening to our podcast are diligent language learners. Absolutely. 那么我们今天的节目呢，就来跟大家分享一下努力。除了可以说 work hard, work harder， <laughs> 我们还有哪些非常地道的英文表达呢 ？So Winter,、mm-hmm. do you think you're a hard worker? I would say most of the time, yeah. <laughs> Good. And、um, I've heard from my students that、uh, one of their idols,、uh, mm-hmm. Zhang Yixing, yeah, Zhang Yixing, ah,、uh, he works really hard.、Uh-huh. Actually, he has a, a very good reputation of diligence. Yeah, that's true. 据说张艺兴啊，还会买那种在线的经济学课程来学习经济学，而且还会在下面踊跃，就是提问向老师，<笑>真的超努力。Yeah, well, that's reasonable. You know,、um, as an artist who shoots to fame overnight, he really needs to keep up with the trends of、uh, show business. You know, that's just sink or swim. You know, you've hit the nail on the head. 你说到点上了，就是 sink or swim. That's right. Yeah, we have to. Work hard. This is the way of the world. Sink or swim. 是的 ，Colin 刚刚教到我们的这个 phrase 啊，叫做 sink or swim. Sink, S I N K. Sink 就是下沉、下降，对吧 ？Yes. 嗯哼。Well, for example, the ship sank to the bottom of the sea. 船沉入海底。The ship sank to the bottom of the sea. 那 sink or swim 意思就是，要么呢你就 sink 沉下去。Yeah,、mm-hmm. uh, you know, it it means that you're in a situation where you will either succeed or fail. You know, it it means that you're in a situation where you will either succeed by your own efforts or fail completely. 是的，这个就是世界运行规则，对吗？ Mm-hmm. 我们就要么凭自己的努力游起来，要么呢就真的会沉入海底了。邓紫棋不是有一首歌叫？当一艘船沉入海底吗？<笑>突然就想起那句歌词了哈。Sink or swim， 就是说自己努力，成败全靠自己，自己努力以求得生存。You know, my employer gave me no help when I started my new job. I was just left to sink or swim. You mean when you started your work here at、uh, Morning English? <笑> no, 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 no. I mean when I started my first job, that was the case. I was just left to sink or swim. Yeah,、mm-hmm. tough girl. And when you're on a team, people might say, "I have a feeling we will sink or swim together." Yeah, yeah. I have a feeling we will sink or swim together. 我们呢要一起努力，不然呢我们就会一起沉下海底，沉下去一下就挂掉了，对吧？ Mm, yeah. 所以其实意思就是说啊，我觉得我们都是一条绳上的蚂蚱 ，right? Right. Now.、Mm-hmm. Oh. If you start to work on something or focus on something strongly, you can use the phrase "buckle down to something." Buckle down to something 就是我们开始静下心来，认真做某件事情，努力干。Right. Yeah,、mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Buckle, b u c k l e, buckle. I have to buckle down to those reports. Oh, 我得静下心来写报告了。I have to buckle down to those reports. Now, when you work hard at something, especially、uh, when you pay a lot of attention to it for a long time,、mm-hmm. I would say、uh, you apply yourself. Apply yourself. Apply. 哎，这个是常用词哈，这个词，但是它不是申请或者是应用的意思吗 ？Yeah, you're right.、Mm-hmm. But it could also mean to work at something or study something very hard. Oh, got it. So teachers like to say that you would pass your exams if you applied yourself. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's <laughs> 就是老师经常喜欢跟我们说，哎，你努力学习就能够通过考试。Right? Try harder. <laughs> yeah. And 
I have to apply myself to improving the quality of our podcast. Or, or maybe we have to go into overdrive. Overdrive, over 是超过 right? Yes. Uh huh. Drive 是开车 Yes. Overdrive means well. Overdrive means an extra high gear in the vehicle that、uh-huh. you use,、uh, like when you're driving. So,、uh, to push the car even faster. Okay, so if I'm driving really fast, I can say I'm in overdrive. Yes,、right? I'm in overdrive. That's right.、Mm-hmm. I'm in overdrive. 就是我在加速行驶。Yeah. 对吗？我在 put extra power. Yes, that's right.、Mm-hmm. That's right. So going into overdrive, and you know, this is an idiom. It says that you start being very active and working harder than before. Ah,、oh, 就是 go into overdrive. 字面意思啊，是说我们进入这个超速档、超速驾驶的模式。那它其实延伸出来的意思啊，是在说我们加倍的努力。全力在加速，全力以赴，就比之前更努力。Yeah, yeah,、mm-hmm. it's it's a pretty vivid expression, right? Yeah, definitely. As the final reproach, every student went into overdrive. That's right.、Mm-hmm. That's right. As the final approached, every student went into overdrive. 嗯，随着期末考试临近，那每个学生都在加倍努力。And Winter, what do you think the hardest part of being a hard worker is? Sure. 啊、uh, ，大家经常说，我我也是这种的，就是间歇性的踌躇满志，持续性的混吃等死。<笑> mm. 所以最难的部分其实不是努力一下下，而是说一直坚持，持续不断的努力，持之以恒。That's a great point. 嗯哼，那说到这里啊，你干脆教教我们吧。持续努力，持之以恒，这个用英文该怎么有？一些比较地道的表达呢，我们总不能说 work hard for a long time 这种吧。Well, I have a good one for you guys.、Uh-huh. We can use bash,、uh-huh. bash away on or at something. Oh, bash, b a s h, right? Yes,、bash. yes. 可是它不是猛击、猛撞的这个意思吗、well, ？Yes, but、uh-huh. uh, bash also, you know, bash has a meaning of hitting somebody or something, but It also means to continue working hard at something. You know, hit your head over and over again till you get it right. Oh, 明白你的意思了。就是 bash 啊，它有那个猛击，就是撞击、打的那个意思啊。我们这么来记吧，持续不断的努力，每天都在努力，一直在努力。这种感觉可能跟被人打还是有点异曲同工之妙吧。就是。精疲力竭，非常辛苦，对吗 yeah, yeah, that's, a, that's a very good way to memorize it. Like sometimes the manager is not happy about the pro the, the progress of your project. He might say, "We'll never get finished at this rate. We need to bash away at it." Right. 就有的时候啊，如果我们比方说项目进度推进不了，那老板啊，或者是呃上司啊，就会不太高兴，就会喜欢说，以这种速度啊，我们永远都完成不了。我们最好要努瓦力啊，加把劲儿。We'll never get finished at this rate. We'd better bash away at it. Yeah,、mm-hmm. and and we sat bashing away on our podcasts and lessons all day. <laughs> There you go. And many students' situation might be: I sat bashing away on my paper all day. 我一整天都坐在这里不停地写 paper 写论文。Right,、mm-hmm. bashing away on or at work is the most difficult part. Persistence is valuable, though. I couldn't agree more. 好了，以上就是我们今天节目的全部内容。我们今天讲到了各种大家，不论是在口语里面还是在写作里面，可以用来代替 work hard 的一些非常地道的表达。Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。Thank you for joining today's morning English. This is Colin. This is Winter. See you next episode. See you. <laughs>